What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. If this your first time here, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Be done, gang, 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 gang. So, I can't even see him say this video is gonna be life update, but I will see him say that it's been a spiritual update, so to say. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to start this off as polite as possible. Um, it might not be polite to host. I mean, it's not going to be polite to host. Um, uh, but what I can say is I had a reading with uh, the Baron. If y'all don't know who he is, I will link his channel down in the description or in the cards or something like that or whatever. Uh, go subscribe. I would link the video that's posted, but I think that I should just go binge watch his channel because if you're spiritual, he actually is like the real deal or stuff. Because a lot of this stuff within this reading, there's no way in hell that he could announce. So I don't know if this is a review, but I don't know really what to call it. But uh, basically, I'm just taking action within what was told to me to do. So, yeah. As y'all know, I'm a mom of four. Y'all got two kids in the background, which is my youngest two kids because they just don't act like they have home training. But anyway, so with that being said, y'all will hear that in the background. I'm not going to sit here and go back and forth trying to even record this. This is why I don't do a lot of recording anyway because I can never be great. Even if I look like I'm ready to record and look camera ready, I can never fucking be great because they be hating on the nigga. But... This is my second reading that I have done with the uh, with the Baron. The first one was a five card reading, uh, and this one is the one I did because I already had like Orishas. I have already had like two Bible lives to say who what Orisha was over my head. Some and that's a whole different thing, so I ain't gonna go in it. But it just say let's just say Ocean is that girl for me. Okay, yeah, so. This will be a multi-part video, uh, I will say that, but what I was saying about uh, the reading in whatever type of video this is going to be, because I can't really just sit here and say that I know, I will say that this review and me taking action on what was told to me to do in the reading to unlock other levels of my spiritual journey, so to say. So, I guess this is kind of a life update and stuff like that. It's kind of a life update, but I feel like this is more so like story time and more so this probably will help other people being out here in the YouTube streets that's more than likely dealing with the same shit or have dealt with the same shit I deal with or dealt with. So, I don't know if he kept in the video uh, at the end of the video when he asked me how did I like my uh, reading, y'all. I didn't have no issue with the reading. I liked the reading. It just was... I was still, like, I'm not a person that's going to process some shit real fucking fast. So, I'm trying to process why in the fuck do I need to... I'm thinking that he's saying that... Basically, it's a misunderstanding, so I like to read him. But I, when he asked me that, I'm so still stuck on issues with my family. I don't even talk to my fucking family. They don't check for me. I don't check for them. It is what the fuck it is. Uh, I haven't talked to my family for years. My mom been dead for years. So that's the family I'm thinking of. So that's why I asked him, like, is it is, is like my baby supposed to be family or something? Because I don't fuck with my family like that, y'all. Uh, I fuck with who I fuck with in my family. And that's all of maybe That's all of, like, 10 people on my mom's side. <laughs> uh, and that's just really what it is. Um... My dad's side, I don't even know my dad's side of the family. I know my grandma, my dad, my auntie, my half-sister. I really don't know nobody else on my dad's side of the family. Or I haven't known anyone on my dad's side of the family for a good-ass minute. Uh, and that's a whole story within itself. So this is kind of what this video is going to address. Now, if we're looking at family like my husband, uh, his people... And, you know, he got a mama side and a daddy side. I really don't have no issues with uh, his mama side or something that needs to be cleared up or taken off. But what I was going to say is I took him telling me that I need to fix or communicate. I'm, I'm, I'm taking it like he's saying that I need to have a sit down talk with these people about issues or problems and try to work through these issues and problems that I may or may not be having with... Uh, 
like family and stuff like that. So I'm not taking it like he's saying that you just need to get it off your chest. You just need to get it off, get it out basically and open. So when I actually understood what the fuck he was saying and I just basically listening but not hearing or understanding, interstanding, whatever the fuck you want to call it, I wasn't doing none of it. So I'm just really trying to think because when I think of my family, I automatically think of my mama's side. I don't even think about my daddy's side. Uh, that's how much I don't fuck with them or I didn't know them uh, or don't know them, really. Uh, Jay, mama side, daddy side, that's technically considered family because we're married. Uh, and then I asked about my baby daddy, like, we have kids together. And, like, no more people with common sense know that once we have kids together, that that's a lifetime thing. Like, even after I turn 18, you, y'all both still. Like, when your kids have kids, you're still going to have grandkids and stuff like that. So, you still may see this motherfucker, whether you like them or not. So, I'm just trying to really... Yeah, that, that blew me. Because it's like, I can't work with no spirits, no deities want to work with me because cause of my family. Like, y'all, when I sit here and say this, I'm so confused because unless it's my money, my family, like my kids' family, like my actual family that I fuck with, uh, money, my kids, self-love, stuff like that, I haven't been doing no work or no spell stuff. Like, it's a lot of stuff that I can do. I know I can do it. It's dark work in here that I have started. Well, I haven't even started because it takes, I know, I literally know that it's, it's going to take, it's going to it's going to put me in a negative sp space. It's going to put me in a dark space. And what the fuck, I'm trying to work it. Let me go put you in a spell and conjure up a spell to put you in a spell because you're my family. You got me fucked up. So that's why I was just like, no deal. Like, I was still stuck on there. So I'm saying all that to say, when he asked me how was my reading, I'm still trying to figure out, like, why what what family what the fuck family issues i don't even talk to my family i don't deal with my family i don't deal with fucking people i don't even like people to be honest with y'all like some people i can sit here i can fuck with i learned like me and jay was talking about this shit the other day too like female friends i'm only still friends with pretty bitches i'm not friends with regular average looking bitches fat bitches like super like no like if they're not pretty or cute I can't be friends with them because it's always a fucking issue that it's just like it's always a fucking issue it's something always fucking happens so and babe was like babe that was kind of 